Welcome to the deep dive. Today, uh, we're going deep on, you know, Wonder Woman. Oh, cool. Yeah. Specifically that crazy new series. Yeah, yeah. The one where, you know, she's like going up against the U.S. government. Right. Like issue number one. We're going to unpack that whole thing. What she does, why it matters, all that. Sounds intense. It is. Lots of twists and turns. We're talking power, justice. What does it even mean to be a hero these days? Big question. Huge. Get ready to think. This deep dive, it's going to stick with you. I'm intrigued already. This first issue, it just throws Wonder Woman into this, like, impossible situation right away. Bam. Right. We see this Amazon Emily who even looks like Diana, and she, like, commits this violent act in a bar. Montana, no less. Like, the story just throws a bomb right at us. It's yeah. like, how do you react to fear? Makes you think. Absolutely. Is it ever okay to target a whole group because of what one person did? And then how does Wonder Woman, Miss Hero, how does she handle this? Suddenly everyone thinks she's a threat. Talk about pressure. Seriously. And the thing is, she could just leave. Easy. But nope. She chooses to stay. To fight. For what she believes. It's pretty powerful. It is. And she even gives up her sword, right? Yeah. Like reaffirming that whole nonviolent thing. Yeah. Even with everyone coming at her. Yeah. Exactly. Which makes you wonder, can pacifism really work when things are this messed up, I mean? Can she really change the system from the inside? Or is she doomed? Tough questions. And it's all told in this, like, super unique way. The whole issue is from the perspective of someone in the future. And they've been defeated by Wonder Woman. Whoa. So right away you're like, who is this person? How did they lose? It's like instant mystery. It keeps you hooked. Totally. You're trying to put the pieces together. Yeah. And it makes every little choice Wonder Woman makes feel super important because you know it leads to something big. Right. And then we meet the bad guys. Two of them, really. Yeah. You got the Sovereign, this ancient king dude, all secretive, pulling strings from the shadows. Yeah. Classic villain move. But then you got Sanity Steel, head of the Amazon extradition entity. Which is, like, the group tasked with getting all Amazon's OUT of the U.S. It's interesting how different they are, villain-wise. Like, the Sovereign's all about manipulation, subtle yeah. stuff. Sand to sea seal. He's just, like, in your face, all about force. <laughs> Two sides of the same coin, maybe. Power can be sneaky, or it can be brutal. And Wonder Woman is stuck right in the middle. Totally. And, you know, with a story this intense... People are going to have opinions. Oh, for sure. Some people, they love how bold it is, how it tackles these big topics, immigration, how women are treated, government gone wild. Yeah, it's definitely not your average superhero story. Not at all. But then others, they say it's too political or that it like plays into some stereotypes about Amazons being victims. Which just shows how powerful a story can be when it like actually tries to say something, you know, makes you think. Definitely. And whether you agree with the message or not, you got to admit the art is amazing. Daniel Samper, his work is so dynamic. The action scenes, whoa, you can feel the power. And the way he draws Wonder Woman, she's strong, but you can also see like the vulnerability there. It's really cool. It is. And Tameo Mori's colors, perfect yeah. for the mood. Like dark and gritty, because the story S, serious, but yeah. then bam, these bright moments too. It just works. And the lettering, Clayton Cowles, he does such a good job, especially with that future narration, like, Weaving it all together, it could get confusing, but it's so smooth. Yeah, that narration style, it's interesting. Some people love it, all poetic and mysterious. No. But others, they find it distracting, like taking you out of the moment. For sure, it's a bold choice. Not going to please everyone, but I think it adds to the whole mystery. Like, you're always trying to figure out how it all connects. And speaking of connecting, this issue, it ends on a huge cliffhanger. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wonder Woman, she tracks down Strike Steel, thinking H. He is the mastermind behind it all. But right as she's about to confront him... Bam. Golden Lasso. Stops her in her tracks. And guess who's holding it? The Sovereign. Turns out, he's the one in charge. Not Spirit Steel at all. <laughs> it's like, total power shift. Wonder Woman, usually she's in control. Now she's at the mercy of this dude who can control the Lasso of Truth. Talk about a bad situation. <laughs> and she already gave up her sword. It's cool. like, how do you even fight that? Right. It's like the story saying, sometimes strength isn't enough. What happens when truth itself is twisted? What hope does a hero have then? Makes you think. Definitely. And it's not just physical strength. It's about ideas, beliefs, all that. Hmm. Like a battle for like the soul of truth. Deep stuff. Totally. 
And one thing that really stood out to me was how different Wonder Woman is from the villains. Like she always tries to understand, to find a peaceful way. Even with Stan of Steel, this guy who's literally hunting her people, she tries to reason with him. It shows a lot about her character. She's not just a warrior, she's a diplomat. Like she believes in talking and understanding, even when everyone else is just yelling and fighting. It's a powerful message, especially these days. Like, can we still listen to each other even when we disagree? Can we find common ground? Or are we just going to keep fighting forever? Big questions, man. Big questions. This issue, it definitely makes you think. It does. And another interesting thing is her relationship with Steve Trevor. They've always had this, like, complicated thing. Lots of love, but also tension. And in this issue, it's even more intense. Because he's worried about her. He doesn't want to see her get hurt, but he also knows he can't stop her. She's got a duty, you know? to her people, to her ideals. It's that classic struggle, right? Personal life versus what you gotta do. But here, the stakes are like life or death. He's watching the woman he loves walk into danger and he can't do anything to protect her. Yeah, it's rough. Forces them both to face their fears. For him, it's losing her. For her, it's failing to live up to what she believes in, not being able to protect the people she cares about. Heavy stuff. And it also hints at this like underlying tension that's been building for years. Like the government has always been kind of suspicious of the Amazons. Like they see them as a threat just waiting to explode. Yeah. And uh, that bar incident, as awful as it was, it just gave them an excuse. Like suddenly all their prejudices are justified and they can start cracking down. It's scary how easily that can happen, you know? Fear can be used to control people, to turn them against each other. And it makes you wonder what would you do? Would you just go along with it or would you stand up and resist even if it meant putting yourself in danger like wonder woman does exactly it's a choice we might all have to make someday and it takes a lot of courage a lot of belief in what's right even when it seems impossible this issue it definitely doesn't shy away from the tough stuff nope and visually that scene where she's attacked in the graveyard so powerful especially that one page where she's blocking a bullet with your bracelets oh yeah i loved that so much action so intense but it also shows how vulnerable she is like she's being hunted just for existing and the fact that it's in a graveyard all those symbols of death it's like she's facing her own mortality like maybe she won't win this fight definitely gives you that feeling like the stakes are higher than ever and even with all that going on the artist daniel samper he does such a good job of showing her emotions. Like you can see the weight of the world on her shoulders, the pain, the frustration. And then when she faces Got Steel, that look of pure determination. It's inspiring, but also kind of scary. It's all in the details. Those little changes in her face, they make her feel so real. You connect with her on a deeper level. You understand what she's going through. And honestly, I kind of related to that feeling of being alone. Like, she's got people who care about her, who are fighting with her. Mm. But in the end, she's the one making the choices. She's the one carrying the burden. Yeah, that loneliness, you can really feel it. Especially when she's on the run, always looking over her shoulder, not knowing who to trust. It's got to be tough, even for someone as strong as her. So, like, what's the takeaway? What's the point of all this? For me, it's about power. How it can be used for good or for evil. And it's about having the courage to stand up for what's right, even when it's hard, even when the whole world seems against you. It's about choosing peace, even when everyone else wants to fight. Exactly. And it challenges us to look at ourselves, you know, like, are we part of the problem? What are we doing to make things better? It's a story about hope. Even when things look bad, Wonder Woman never gives up. She keeps fighting because she knows that even small acts of resistance can make a difference. And that's a message we all need to hear sometimes, especially now. It's easy to get discouraged, to feel like nothing we do matters. But this story reminds us that we all have the power to choose hope, to choose compassion, to choose to fight for a better world. Powerful stuff. Definitely. And it's like this whole thing, the suspicion about Amazons, it's been simmering for years, right? Like under the surface, there's that bit where Steve says, like, the government's always been nervous about them seen them as a potential problem. Oh yeah, totally. Like they were just waiting for an excuse. Exactly. And that awful thing at the bar, tragic as it was, it kind of gave them that excuse. Like now they can justify their, you know, whatever, their prejudices and start enacting these policies. It makes you think, right? Like how easily fear can be twisted. Mm. Used to control people, turn them against each other. It's kind of chilling. It is.
makes you wonder, what would you do in that situation? Just follow orders, even if you know it's wrong. Or would you, like Wonder Woman, would you resist, even if it meant risking everything? It's a big question. Like, what does it really mean to be a hero? Totally. And visually, there's that scene in the graveyard when she gets attacked. Oh, man, that was intense. It's so powerful, right? Especially that one panel where she's deflecting the bullet with her bracelets. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. You just feel the power. Yeah. But it's also kind of sad, you know, like she's being hunted just for being who she is. Exactly. And being in a graveyard, it's like all those symbols of death. It adds this whole other layer. Like, is this where she's going to fall? Will she even survive this fight? It definitely feels like the stakes are higher than ever before. Like anything could happen. And even with all the action, all the crazy stuff happening, you can still see her emotions, you know? Daniel Samper, the artist, he does such a great job with her facial expressions. Like in that scene where she's talking to Steve, you can just see the weight on her shoulders, the pain, the frustration. And then when she faces off with street steel, that look in her eyes, it's pure steel. Like she's made up her mind and nothing's gonna stop her. It's kind of scary, but also really inspiring. It's amazing how much he can convey with just a few lines, right? Mm -hmm. Like you really connect with her, understand what she's going through. And speaking of connecting, I got to say, I felt that loneliness, you know, like, yeah, she's got people around her, people who love her, who are fighting for the same thing. But ultimately, she's alone in this. It's her choices, her burdens to carry. Oh, yeah, that comes through so strongly, especially when she's on the run, always looking over her shoulder, not knowing who to trust. It's got to be a heavy weight to bear, even for Wonder Woman. Absolutely. So taking a step back, what do you think the main takeaways are from this issue? Like, What's the big picture? Well, for me, it's about the different faces of power, how it can be used for good or for evil, and about having the courage to stand up for what you believe in, even when it seems impossible. It's about choosing the path of peace, even when everyone else is choosing violence. Yeah. And it forces us to look inward too, you know, like are WE part of the problem? What are WE doing to make things better? It's a story that asks a lot of hard questions. Mm. But ultimately, I think it's a story about hope. Even when things are at their darkest, Wonder Woman doesn't give up. She keeps fighting because she knows that even the smallest act of resistance can make a difference. That's such a powerful message, especially these days. It's easy to feel overwhelmed, to feel like nothing we do matters. But this story reminds us that we all have the power to choose hope, to choose compassion, to choose to fight for a better world, even when it feels like we're all alone. And it's interesting how this issue, it kind of hints that this tension with Wonder Woman, with the Amazons, mm. it's been there all along, you know, like simmering beneath the surface. Yeah, totally. Like that scene where Steve mentions the government, they've always been kind of wary of the Amazons, seeing them as this like potential threat. It's like they were just waiting for a reason, any reason mm -hmm. to like crack down. Exactly. And that awful incident at the bar, as tragic as it was, it kind of gave them that excuse, you know, like... Suddenly they can justify all their prejudices and bam, discriminatory policy. It's scary how easily that can happen, right? Like how fear can be used to control people, Yeah. to turn them against each other. It makes you think about like individual responsibility, you know? What do you do when you see injustice happening? Do you just follow orders even when you know it's wrong? Or do you stand up and fight? Yeah. Like Wonder it, Woman does. Exactly. Even if it means putting yourself at risk. Yeah. It's a choice we all might have to face at some point. And that scene in the graveyard where she gets attacked. Visually, it's just so striking. Oh yeah, that one page where she's deflecting the bullet with her bracelets, so powerful. Right, you can really feel his strength, her resilience, but also, you know, her vulnerability, like she's being targeted just for existing. And the fact that it's in a graveyard, a place of death, it adds this whole other layer of meaning, you know, like she's facing her own mortality, the possibility that she might not win this fight. There's definitely this sense of foreboding, like the stakes have never been higher. And even with all that going on, the artist, he captures her emotions so well. Like when she's well, talking to Steve, you can see the weight of the world on her shoulders. Yeah. And then when she confronts Segret Steel, her expression changes completely. It's like mm -hmm. this steely resolve. Yeah. Inspiring, but also kind of terrifying. It's those little details, those subtle shifts in her face that make her feel so real, you know? I think what really resonated with me was her sense of isolation. Like, yeah, she's got people who care about her who are fighting alongside her, but ultimately she's alone in this. Yeah, you can feel that loneliness, especially when she's on the run, always looking over her shoulder, not knowing who to trust. So looking back at this whole issue, what do you think are the key takeaways? Well, for me, it's about the complexities of power. 
you know, how it can be used for good or evil. And it's about the importance of standing up for what you believe in, even when it's hard. It's about choosing peace, even when the world seems determined to tear itself apart. And it challenges us to look at ourselves, to examine our own biases, our own complicity in systems of oppression, to ask, what can we do to create a more just world? It's a story that asks a lot of difficult questions. But ultimately, I think it's a story about hope. Yeah, even though Wonder Woman is facing these incredible challenges, she never gives up. She keeps fighting because she believes that even the smallest act of resistance can make a difference. It's a powerful message, and one that we need to hear now more than ever. Absolutely. It's a reminder that we all have the power to choose hope, to choose compassion, to choose to fight for a better world, even when it feels like we're all alone. Well, that was quite a deep dive. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the heart of Wonder Woman number one. It's a comic that's sure to stay with us for a while. What do you think about Wonder Woman taking on the U.S. government? How do you think she can win against such a powerful force? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Cosmic Comic Clips for more deep dives into the world of comics. See you next time.